So people have been asking me, what is it like to be 50 years old? And I was trying to think, I don't know. At first, I was thinking, what, what, I'm like, what is it like to be 50 years old? Um, I got asked enough times that I decided to answer. I am James Lott Jr. If you don't know who I am, if you're just seeing this video and seeing me for the first time. I am a host, I am an author, a uh, musician, recording artist, poet, uh, TV host, web series host, then acting, I do a lot of stuff, professional organizer, survival life coach, things like that. And I turned 50 years old this year, and there are a lot of us turning 50. There were a lot of people born in 1969. For some reason, that was like a really good year for folks. Or meaning 1968 was a good year for folks, and then, well, people, you get the idea. And so I hit this big milestone May 10th, which is Mother's Day for many people. Um, and uh, I made it to 50. Uh, it was a long road in some ways. I don't know. I look, I, I, I look at it as it is a milestone. 50, it sounds weird sometimes to say I'm 50. It does sound weird. I think um, in a large scheme of things, physically I've had a lot of issues with my health off and on, but I don't think it's age specific. Uh, but I'm aware that as you get older, things do hurt more. Uh, also, uh, make, I make more noises when I get up and sit down. And recovery time for stuff is a little longer. And that is actually um, very true. I used to be a nurse. and that's just, It just happens because bones change, things change. Uh, it's a little, it looks a little longer. Um, I feel like I look good for my age. I feel like I look pretty good for 50. Um, so I don't have any hang-ups about how I look, per se, and on my face. I never, my, my looks never been that important to me in terms of you know, I don't live by them. So that's not a thing for me. I don't, I think, I think, I look at my hands sometimes. I'm like, I look a little older. I just think I look older, but I think, I think I'm fine. 50s seemed really old when I was in my 20s and 30s. It just seemed like that was a long, long way away, and that was old. Um, people seem older uh, when I was younger, of course, at 50. And now that I'm their age, I'm like, oh, not that old. Also, I noticed that people respond to you interestingly uh, when they found out you're 50. Like, I don't give you 50. Oh, my God. Um, but I see things differently because I've lived 50 years of life. So I'm seeing things differently than a 40 or a 30 or a 20-year-old. And not yet to like a 60, 70, 80 year old, but I know I'm getting older. And I feel like 50 for me has been very retrospective. Because I look back and go, wow, I did this, 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 and this, and this. And it feels like that right now I'm happy in my career. So I'm happy right now in my career. It's moving up and it's going great. Um, but that's kind of like a barometer was like at 40, I was thinking, what am I doing? And I changed my whole life. At 50, it's like, am I doing it still? Am I doing it the right way? Am I liking it? Am I enjoying it? Now I kind of finesse it. I'm starting to think about my future in terms of like how long I'm going to be here. I don't want to sound morbid, but I just feel like it's kind of hits me a little bit. It's kind of like, okay, well, you know, back when I was in my 20s and 30s, even 40s, I go, I have another 20, 30, 40, 50 years to go, probably, uh, to have all my faculties and everything working in my brain. Now I'm kind of like, I got good 20 years, 30 years. Like you do kind of know that it's, that it's coming. You're not old, but it's like it's just, it's coming around the corner. And I got to thinking about retirement. I mean, 15 years I could possibly retire, I guess. Um, I'm finding out I, one of the funniest things, one of the funniest things was I realized I'm not part of the 18 to 49 group anymore in terms of marketing on TV. I was like, I'm 50. They're not marketing to me anymore. I'm done. Um... That was kind of funny. I had to get a call. I have to get a colonoscopy at fifty. That's one thing you have to do. Um, they're kind. Of, I got some pills. Where are they? I got pills, uh, vitamins, and these are the ones that are over fifty, fifty plus. I'm fifty plus. I'm like that. That part is kind of strange. I'm like I'm fifty plus. Um, I have a lot of energy. People who know me know I have a lot of energy, and I am very youthful in many ways. But I do see things differently. Than a lot of the younger folks, and there's times I'm reminded because I work with a lot of younger people, we're not the same generation, and I am reminded, and I may come across like a dad sometimes because I can't help it. I have this deep voice. I'm older. I am a dad, so I realize so it's kind of it comes across that way. And I'm noticing that I do re I do react to things like an old person sometimes. 
Um, but I like to think that me being 50 and with all the things that I do and the stuff that I, and how I look at life, I'm very open about life, that hopefully that shows people that age, in some ways age is just a number, in some ways it's a number that does make a difference, um, but also in other ways it, it just means that you can continue life and continue making your dreams happen. Dreams don't have to die at a certain age. You can still try new things, no matter what age you are. And I think those are very, those are very important things to remember. And I'm learning that every day that I can keep going. I have inspirations of people in the business, outside the business, who continue to do stuff um, at any age. And I'll just show people that I'm not gonna, you're not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Um, so I guess that's what 50 feel. I mean, I, I feel good. I'm happy to be 50. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I had a very l hard year personally and professionally before I turned 50. So I think it made me really, it's like, yes, I'm 50. I really enjoy it. I'm here. Um, but I'm happy. So that's what 50 means to me. Anybody else who's 50 years old this year, comment. Let me know what's going on. Anybody who has been 50, um, tell me what your experience is. Wherever you see this, there's a subscribe button, I think, down here. JLJ Media on YouTube. You can follow me at James Lott Jr. We're all James Lott Jr. Just on social media platforms everywhere. And I'll see you guys next time.